Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to my reaction to uh, the top 10 m most popular Beatles songs. Uh, I believe this was by, who was this by again? I want to give proper credit here. Power Player Music. I'm going to leave uh, just the link to this original video in the description uh, if you guys want to take a look at it yourself. Um, as you can see by the shirt I'm wearing, uh, you know, I do like the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles are actually my all-time favorite music group, um, period. Um, nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Um, honestly, like, I would say probably my top four are dead set. Um, like, the Beatles are my number one favorite. Uh, I, there's, like, a three-way tie for number two for me. Um, because, like, with these three, it goes in phases. It's, like, Michael Jackson, Prince, and U2. Interesting mix, right? So, uh... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, because I can't decide which one of those I like better than the other. So, it's just, like, 2A, 2B, 2C. You know? Honestly, they're all, like, 2As for me. Because, you know, there's some phases where I'm more into Michael than I am Prince. And then there's times where, you know, maybe U2 is above them both. And then there's times where it's more Prince. But... Bottom line is, um, Beatles, number one for me. Um, now, whether I agree with this list or not, um, I'm not going to get too much into unless I have a sincere disagreement about a song that might be left off this top 10. Or maybe, you know, if I feel like a placement, like, I, I don't know what this song at number 10 is, you know, but, you know. Like I said, I'll just leave some comment, you know, just some comments on what I think, but I'm not going to get into what my top 10 is because to be perfectly honest, I didn't do plan on doing a reaction to a top 10 Beatles thing. It was just like, I just looked in the mirror, saw the shirt. I'm like, you know, that'd be a great, you know, reaction to do. So, you know, maybe next time I do one of these, I'll be a little more prepared and probably have what my top 10 is. But um, anyhow, enough of that. Let's get on with this. Let's see what number 10 is for this guy is. I might already have to disagree with this. Yeah, this would be, like, in my opinion, in their top 10, but I think this should at least be top 5. But, ooh, this is a good one, too. Hard for me to kind of argue this one. Solid so far, though. I'm noticing an interesting trend here. 10, 9, and 8 are all in the help album. I am going to pause real quick, though. Um, I kind of... And there's a part of me that kind of understands, but there's a part of me that kind of doesn't like the fact that he's using live performances because if you strip away the screaming fans from their performances... And I hate to say this, but they have said this themselves. Their live performances kind of sucked. But it was really no fault of their own because it's like, if you listen to how loud those fans are screaming, like if you keep the screaming fans in there, I mean, it's like, you can't hear a darn thing. It's, so it's like, how are they supposed to perform if they can't hear what the hell they're doing? You know, so I'm not going to say they're, you know, crappy performers. It's just they're working under very crappy conditions you know i mean they've had to build special amplifiers just so they could hear themselves and even then would get drowned out you know but um that I mean you know now there are some performances they you know they managed they managed it well not a lot though not a lot you know it's very rare for me to find a live performance of there that i say was fantastic but uh they did they did have a couple of good ones like ticket to ride is a great song but if you listen to this, I mean, in my opinion, the li the live performance of that they're doing right now is kind of crap. But again, no fault of their own. They can't hear what the hell they're doing. So anyhow, let's go on. Now, this is the Beatles song, but this clearly is not the Beatles. He might be doing this for copyright reasons. This is a good song, though. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can't really complain about the placement of this one. This one's going. Not 
feel fine. Uh, good one, good one. I feel like they're missing on some, though. I mean, there's four more songs to go, but, uh, there's some that I feel like should have been on here already, but we'll wait and see what he's got. That's a good one, though. Yep, that's a good one. I don't know if I would put this one in my top ten, though. Yep, this is definitely a top 10. Deserves to be in the top. Definitely deserves to be in the top. Well, it's not my personal top 5, but I wouldn't argue this being someone's top 5. I wouldn't argue this being their number 1 because this song is what really helped them make it. And oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely a top 10 for me. Alright, so I'm going to pause this right now. While not my number one Beatles song, I know it is for a lot of people. If Hey Jude is not number one on here, and I'm not saying it should be number one. I'm saying Hey Jude should be in everybody's top 10 Beatles song or Beatles list. So I'm going to assume that Hey Jude is number one. If it's not, I'm going to uh, everything I said earlier about not critiquing a person's list. I'm going to, because if you know, because there is something I've noticed. I don't think they've gone past 1965 for their stuff. And clearly like stuff like, like nothing on rubber soul, nothing on revolver, no white album stuff. I can understand maybe leaving stuff off magical mystery tour outside of maybe strawberry fields forever. But I mean, there are some classics after 1965 that they had and none of them are included. Like, let it, no, get back. No, let it be. Uh, no, I mean, while my guitar gently weeps, how do you leave that off? Well, okay. That's one of my favorites. If I'm going to be objective, maybe not a top 10. I mean, now that I think about it, maybe I should be a little more gentle on this because Considering all the songs that they've released, that they've recorded, that they've written. I mean, especially if you just make it on the fly, it can be very easy to miss a couple songs. I will say this, though. I don't see how Hey Jude cannot be on anybody's top ten, so I pray that it's at least number one on here. And also for the fact that I hope that it's just kind of a period that wasn't... I should say, like, any... Because there's, like, nothing that's, like, post... Beatles tour. Anyhow, let's see how he finishes this. This is a good one, though. This definitely deserves to be a top 10 on the. Love Me Do. They chose Love Me Do. As number one. They didn't have anything post help on this list. The closest thing they probably have would be I Feel Fine, but that was a single. But in terms of like album, they didn't have anything from Robo Soul on. I hate to be that guy I hate to be that fan but what Beatles have you heard my dude <laughs> that you don't even have Hey Jude on your top 10 maybe that's not your taste but I mean nothing from Sgt. Pepper nothing from the White Album nothing from Let It Be nothing from Abbey Road I mean not even something and I'm not saying something from Abbey Road I'm talking about the actual song something that was such a classic that people thought that Lennon and McCartney wrote that and that was a George Harrison song couldn't even have that on there no no come together and no hey Jude I don't even care if hey Jude isn't your number one how is hey Jude not on your top 10 
And you are lying if you're trying to say that this is like their most popular songs amongst, right? I don't know. Maybe, and you know what? What I just said about this guy, I need to take back because I just reread the title of this and it says the top 10 most popular songs. So maybe it's not this guy's personal pop 10, but I want to know where he got this from because uh, I'm looking that up right now. I don't know any of these songs. So I don't want to show more. Where'd you get these from? I need to know where you got this list from because I got some serious issues with how they're deciding what their most popular songs were. Because I can guarantee you that Hey Jude's going to be up there. And at the very least, something from Sgt. Pepper is going to be on there. So, um, there is no way Love Me Do is their most popular song. There ain't no way. Now, it's not a bad song. I enjoy the song, but I don't even think I would put this in my top 15. Hell, maybe not even my top 20. I don't know. I'll say this. If I was making like my own personal greatest hits album, this song wouldn't be on there. And I think it was a hit for them. But, you know, if I'm going off my own personal, you know, there are some there are plenty of songs I can think of that I would put before Love Me Do, you know. But, you know, like I said, you know, if who, you know, why I highly doubt this because I know this video made in 2017. You know, so I don't know when uh, he found this list, but whenever this particular list was made, you know, I need somebody to help me here because my brain is hurting. Um, outside of that, um, hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to have to try to, I, I might have to do another Beatles video and try to see if, and try to see if I agree with their list a little more because I am amazed at how much of the Beatles career they left off of this list. And it's kind of infuriating, but whatever. We're just going to have to deal with it. But, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, the original um, video's link is going to be in the description below. I'll also leave a info tag on it. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to your channel if you haven't already. See some of my other reactions. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this list. Um I'm still in shock. I'm trying to be nice about it. I'm trying my hardest to be nice about it because, as I like I said, as I read the title, not this dude's fault. You know, he probably just posted a list that maybe was not his own. Maybe he doesn't agree with this list either. But um, if you're a Beatles fan, uh, what would you put? I wouldn't go top 10, but what would be your top? We'll just say top three. What would be your top three Beatles song if you're a Beatles fan? And were any of those songs on this list? And, um, yeah, we'll just leave it there. I'll catch y'all down the road.